and heal. Look at this, look at that. And sometimes you get frustrated and doing it. You see what I'm saying? To the point where the enemy say, you should leave. But when God tells you to be someone, you don't have the authority to go anywhere. He said, sometimes God has to check me. God talk about me. I told you last examine what? I'll say. Sometimes when God has to go to a certain place, he has to check you. Sometimes he has to say, why you playing a keyboard? You think you're good, but he say, hey, who you playing for? Come on. If Lindo make you mad, you going to stop playing? I think you're playing for Lindo. You ain't playing for me. And folks, you know what you're When you preach it, because that's easy to do, you be like, Jeremiah said, be like, fire, shut up, my bones. But sometimes you got to remember, when folk act up in, you don't leave the church. Come on now. I know y'all Come on. Come on. We as Christians leave the church for so many little patty things that don't make any sense. We stop functioning in the church because we're so immature. Everything affects us. Everything makes us stop moving for God. Who are you doing it for? People or God? What you do for Christ will last. To have, they will have a whole lot of rewards we think we are. Because we did things for people or for show, but we didn't do it for the what? Glory of God. A lot of us get tired as we want to run. We get gifts and we want to be greater than the pastor. Take your gift and help the church. Says, oh, how good and how black pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yes, That's the biggest problem with the church now. We don't have what? The unity. Right. Yes. Hey. Right. You, be, you get greater and more effective pastor, and we get together with him and be what? In unity yes. with the what? Vision with the what? Word of God. Love, really love our pastor, the man of God. The way that God requires us to love him. The whole life has to be changed. You won't have to work as hard as you do. I saw a scripture in the Bible. Let's go by things that God's given me. I saw a scripture in the Bible how they gave the Bible. It blew my mind. It was this year I saw it. I read the Bible. I really saw it this time. You know, sometimes I read stuff but don't see it. I saw, and they, what they did is Israel, they gave not just on Sunday, but they began to give every day. As they had, and they had so much that we had to stop them or refrain them from giving. Amen. Amen. And see, we must be led by God to how we should give. Sometimes the Lord said, hey, give your pastor $100. And I'm telling you, like, $100? What is this? You know, he said, give $100. I'm talking about obedience. Sometimes he might not say money. Sometimes he might say, you know what? I want you to give, dedicate this time for your pastor. I want you to dedicate this time, maybe not for your pastor, but for the church. Dedicate this time. And see, we as Christians, why don't why do we think we don't need to sacrifice things? Mm -hmm. When you look at the Old Testament, Israel was always sacrificing. And we can, as Christians, you lose our what? Zeal. When you first were saved, you read the Bible all the what? Time. You was in church on what? Time. That song, all in church on time? Mm -hmm. Don't let me start with Sunday school. Don't worry about it. Get up and walk out. You was at every service. And now we're looking at, look at us now. We stole it yeah, anytime we want. We have read our Bible. We don't fast. We don't pray. And half the time we get people in the congregation to be entertained with a crazy worship going on. And we got we gotta pump us so hard and snatch us so hard and push us so hard to do everything. A lot of things business God is giving you is to help the church, not besides your own. That's right. A lot of us, we all, if we don't get the glory, if we don't know how to work together, all we got to be in the front. I got to be the best cook. I have to be the best singer. Learn how to what? 
work together. Now, you're so magnificent. Teach, train somebody how to do what you do. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's another thing that God gave me. He said, I know what God is calling me, and I'm in training to bring it down before I walk into that position. But he said, before you leave, don't leave your spot empty. He said that God, if you see God elevate you to from a musician to an elder, you should be training somebody how to play the drums. Amen. You should be training somebody how to play the uh, keyboard. You should be training somebody how to what? Be a missionary. How to usher. The Bible teaches us the, the mothers of the church should teach the what? Young. The young ladies. Yes, sir. And the elders of the church should teach the what? Young, young men. Yes, and we talk about people but we don't teach them. You know why? Because there's no unity and there's no true love. There's too much holiness, too much faithfulness. That's why we can't walk in where God wants us to be. I'm, I'm sitting down with a certain praise team up. Or I'm not going to come with a certain person preach. Or when a certain person had a service, I'm going to give a little less than what I would give mine. No, you should give the same effort and support Amen. as you give to your own. You should give to somebody else's. Come on now. I got something else to say. You gotta love the pastor's wife. No! Why do you think that they're separate from each other? The Bible says when they became married, they became what? Not two, but one. I also read some two pastors. If we don't treat our wife right, your prayers ain't hit it with God. Amen. That's fine. Come on, you didn't talk about that book. So if his prayers are hindered, you see how what a fact that would have on the ministry. Yeah. A lot of times, I see all the time the pastor's wife being overlooked, the pastor's wife being mistreated, the pastor's yeah. wife being dogged, the pastor's wife. Yeah, I'm talking about you now. The pastor's wife. <laughs> you see, God shows me things before they happen. A lot of people are evil. You have the witches on the cover in churches. Yeah. A lot of people will manipulate and try to get their way to the top. Yes, sir. But don't think that you're going to go see God not treat your brother right. Don't think you're going you're gonna to have the, uh, good standing with God when you get things the wrong way. Some people manipulate and use and cheat and clip their way to the top. Do you think you're going to be blessed when you get there? You think you would you would do everything else but support everybody else? You want somebody to support you when your time comes. Come on now. Say anything about it. God told me if you can't be faithful under your past, what you think won't happen to your ministry if I ever call you out? In the world, are we ready for the church? Are we ready for the world? Come on, See, we're doing a lot of works, but we got to take care of ourselves first. Because the world can see phoniness. The world can see through fakeness. The world can know when you're not right. They call out all the time. <laughs> Something about, I like you and I with folk who ain't, um, who's not saved. Oh, because first you know, they don't like that. <laughs> because if you want to see Jesus walk, Jesus did not hang out with the religious folk. Jesus did not hang out with the, too much of the religious folk. No, he didn't. He went down to the people who was just no good and broke off people and rejected. Those who knew not him. How can we reach the world if we too good for the world? A lot of times they come into the church and we too good for them. We too holy for them. We too bad for them. And so I think about, I want, one thing I love, I do love, is going into the church and they don't know I'm preaching. 